Hello everyone. Welcome to Javad Sumbro Productions. In this tutorial, you will learn ligatures in Adobe InDesign. Let's get started. What is ligature? A ligature is a combination of two or more letters into a single symbol. Ligatures are used in writing and typography for a variety of reasons. This includes Number 1. To improve readability and legibility. For example, the ligature FI is often used instead of the separate letters F and I because it is easier to read and write and it creates a more harmonious connection between the two characters. Number 2. To save space. Ligatures can be used to reduce the amount of space required to type or print the text. For example, the ligature OE is often used instead of the separate letters O and E in French and other languages. This can be especially useful when you are working with limited space such as on a website or in a social media post. Number 3. To create a more aesthetic appearance. Ligatures can be used to create a more elegant and sophisticated look for text. For example, ligatures are often used in calligraphy and other forms of artistic writing. Here are some examples. FI, FL, FF, FFL, FFI. You must be thinking why letter F is during this list. It's because the F letter has a distinctive shape that can overlap with the letters that follow it, such as I, L, and F. Ligatures combine these letters into a single glyph, which can improve the readability and appearance of text. How to use ligatures? To use ligatures in InDesign, you must first make sure that the font you are using supports ligatures. Most open type fonts support standard ligatures, but some fonts also support discretionary ligatures. Discretionary ligatures are more decorative and are typically used in headlines and other large format text. To open the ligatures, go to Window, Type, Character. Shortcut key is Ctrl T. This character panel will open up in your InDesign document. Click on the corner of this panel that looks like hamburger. Then click on Ligature. Your ligatures will be turned on. If you click on it one more time, ligature will be turned off. If you want to use discretionary fonts, then go to the corner of this panel. Open type. Then choose Discretionary Ligatures. Or if you had already created paragraph sets for headings, then you can also do this by opening Paragraph Styles Panel. To open Paragraph Styles Panel, go to Window, Styles, and choose Paragraph Style. Shortcut key is F11. Since I have heading the style in Paragraph Style Panel, I am going to right click on it and choose Edit. Go to Open Type Features, then check Discretionary Ligatures. See, this is how you do it. You can also use Glyphs Panel to apply ligatures to text in Adobe InDesign. To open Glyphs panel, go to Window, Type and Glyphs. Shortcut key is Alt Shift F11. After it is opened, select the text and then select the ligature that you want to apply. You can also use character styles to apply ligatures to the text. For that, go to Window, Styles and then Character Styles. Shortcut key is Shift F11. Create a new character style. In basic character formats, I am going to keep the letter font and 72 point size. At the bottom, we can see these options. Underline, ligature, no breaks and strike through. We can apply the ligatures to these characters by simply checking on this ligatures box. Click OK. By the way, if you want to learn about character styles in Adobe InDesign, then I have added the tutorial link in the description. Tip of the day. Not all fonts support ligatures. Make sure to choose the font that supports the ligatures that you want to use. Some of those supporting fonts are Times New Roman, Palatino Linotype, Cambria, Constantia, Calibri, Georgia. Some web fonts include Plato, Poppins, SourceSense Pro, etc. I hope this tutorial helped you learn everything about ligatures in Adobe InDesign. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will reply you as soon as possible.
You can email me at jabalsumro1988 at gmail.com. Follow my Facebook page over here, Jawad Sumro Productions. Follow my Instagram page over here, Jawad Sumro Studios. If you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed this tutorial, smash that like button and share this video with your friends. If you never want to miss any updates, click that notification bell icon. Now, I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye and take care.